Dang, Derek with the fashion critique. I'm assuming he's talking about me and not Leia. <laughs> I hope Jeez. not. Jeez. Go to the mall. Check out the mannequins right here. Man. <laughs> yeah. he, he's just unhappy that the 90s are over. All right. I'm bringing him back. All, All right. right. Well, Love it. schools out for the summer. Now's the time to spice up your summer dishes for dinner. And spice up your wardrobe, apparently. And joining us for what's for dinner is registered dietitian with the U of I Extension, Leia Kedem. Great to have you here. Thank back you again. for having me again. All right, so listen, we're making some quinoa. Yes, yes, we are. We're making a quinoa salad with the southwestern flair. Ooh. Okay, so what you're saying it spice it up. southwestern flair? Well, you know, we're using cumin, which is a spice that's very typically found in, you know, southwestern cuisine and Mexican cuisine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what's going to give you that flavor. And we're also going to be using um, red bell pepper, which is another thing, lime juice, green onion. Those are a lot of flavors that are typically used in that kind of food. Well, what exactly is quinoa. What is it? That's an, and I'm amazed that you said it correctly. Well, so congratulations. Thank nice. you very much. Quinoa. Yes, it's a kind of grain and it comes from South America. It is a whole grain. It's gluten free. Yeah, take a look at this. It's, it's pretty interesting yeah. if you've never seen it. It looks kind of like, I mean from far away it kind of looks like brown rice. Yeah. And it tastes kind of similar to it. It has a nutty flavor. It's higher in protein than other whole grains and of course is uh, a great source of fiber because it's a whole grain. Um, I've tried making it before but it turned mm -hmm. out kind of gross. Gross. What's, what's the trick to like making so descriptive. <laughs> Did you overcook it? I, I don't know. Maybe I maybe undercooked it. it. I probably undercooked it. Yeah. Well, go ahead and taste it. I hope it's not going to be gross. Okay. This is some that I, I already made and we're, we've got some more on the stove here for the salad. But, but um, we don't need to put anything in this one? No, no, not at all. This is for you to taste. And basically, oh. it, it cooks up very similar to brown rice. You put it in with um, boiling water, you cover it, and I don't know if I'm a it. fan with it just plain. Okay, well, you'll have to it see what happens like when we... It cornish, corn like corn. texture. A little bit. Mm -hmm. it, it's bit. chewy, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good, though. I'm looking forward to the adding. Okay. okay. Fair <laughs> enough. I will give you that. <laughs> All right. So we have a ton of ingredients. Where are we going? Yes. Okay. So we will start our quinoa's cooking here. That over. Um, so it needs to absorb the water. We do have lots of ingredients. We've got uh, chopped Roma tomatoes. Why Roma? Yes. That's a good question. I like to use Roma tomatoes or plum tomatoes. Um, they tend to hold their shape better. Uh, they usually tend to be a little bit more meaty and less juicy. Okay, so I don't like there to be a whole bunch of like goop and juice right. sitting in the bottom, okay? Now when you cut your tomato, do you cut the seeds out and leave those out of recipes? Or is that what you're yes. supposed to do? I usually seed them unless it's it doesn't say otherwise. Okay. I usually seed them. So to do okay. these, I just quarter them and I kind of uh, hollow them out and then chop them like that. Fun okay. fact, tomatoes were called Love apples. Love apples. I was telling <laughs> you, I, yeah. you're like, there's no apples in these recipes. I asked if that was a New Jersey thing. Mm. So I think so. I think the term's more common. Yeah, out there. I never yeah. heard that before. Yeah, so, okay, all right, so, so Romans. Tomatoes. Yep, yeah, we've got peppers. the red bell pepper. Okay, we've got those sliced green onions there. Mm -hmm. Do you use the whole onion or just the. Yes. Yeah, you okay. can d definitely do the white part as well. Just um, don't include the, the stem there. Okay. Okay, um, we've got some minced garlic, about okay, a clove. Stem. What do you mean? This, this part, part here, or the bulb, excuse me. Oh, don't use part. the white part. You can use the white part Just not up the hair. until, yeah, not the hair. Okay. That might be kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't want to find hair in my food, that kind or otherwise. Right, yeah, <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> so a texture okay. thing. Yes. Yes, um, we've got about a, a teaspoon of minced garlic there, about a clove's worth. We're going to do cumin, um, black pepper, freshly ground black pepper. We're not going to add a lot of salt because we're also going to do some uh, canned corn, and canned oh. beans, and that's going to add a little bit of sodium to you know bring out the flavors. We don't need to add extra salt. I love the fact that you brought a, a grinder too, of I, because I feel like the fresh ground pepper really it really makes a difference. It when does you're making make a fresh difference. Recipes. Yeah, because yeah. you're releasing some of those natural oils. Okay, and if it's already ground up, you're you're not necessarily going to have those be as fresh with the flavor. And okay, if we're doing mm -hmm. fresh, could we use fresh corn? Yes, you can. Okay, so the recipe says you can use canned corn, which is cheap and easy, but you can also do fresh corn, especially now that corn's coming into season in the summer. Absolutely, you can do that. And is this going to be a cold salad, or mm -hmm. is it going to be warm? Because that was warm. we got to wait for that to cool off. You can do it cold or warm. Oh. 
Okay, I typically okay. like to let it chill in the refrigerator for about an hour or two to let it, you know, let all the flavors get happy and delicious. Oh, yes. But you can do it warm if you like, absolutely. We love our recipes here to get happy. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. And delicious. <laughs> and delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great, okay, so everything just gets dumped in there? Yes, or? yes, and when we come back um, later on in the show, we will put that all together and, and we will make it look it. like it. Look, and, and the bright colors and everything, yeah. I'm sure it's gonna be great. It's gonna beautiful. be beautiful. It's gonna be a fiesta in your mouth, Matt. Ooh, well, I that. I can't wait. My, tans well, my taste buds will be dancing. That's right. <laughs> could we that's get what any, we aim for. Could we get any cornier today? <laughs> Let's try. If you could um, want to make this for dinner tonight, we absolutely will share this recipe with you at SayLiving.tv. Right now, how about? Let's do it now. Let's do it. Okay. Well, in a span of five years, one group has saved thousands of dogs.